everybody. I am going through and we are going to be doing this feature on the men's razors that you guys are doing. So you'll notice that it's got a little bit of an indentation here. Um, so, but the first thing we're going to do is, um, okay, edit this. Did control C for copy, control V and double click. And then I've got another one. So this way I can see what's happening. Okay. And then let's see. Now we're going to show our body before you do anything. You need to make sure that these are looking really, really good. Um, and that everything's smooth. The party line appears where it needs to be and that everything is matching up with your picture. Um, so super important. Um, so you want to make sure everything's looking dead and is aligned on both sides. Cause I was going through these and some of them really weren't at all. So, okay. So what we're going to do first is we'll see this has a little bit of a recess before the roundy part. So we need to offset that first. So on top line, front line, sketch. Yep. We're going to split line this so that it works because otherwise it won't because the geometry is too complicated to offset the surface, the whole thing. So we're going to do a line below here. So like here and then split line, boop right there. Now there's that. Then we're going to offset just this top part 0.2 millimeters in. So make sure it's on the inside so you can't see it. Hide this. So there it is. And then what we're going to do, we're going to sketch, make a sketch that's just to reference for, um, for later, uh, for our, for everything is this edge here. So I'm going to hide this for a minute. There we go. And I'm going to put in a line that we're going to use for everything so that it's stays consistent. This doesn't have to go up there. We, we're just going to go up. We're going to make sure this goes past so that um, as our body doesn't match exactly with that. Damn yeah. cold, guys. Okay. All right, now I'll show this. So now we're going to is close it off. Perfect. And then just super quick, um, hide this guy. See when you offset, see how this is shorter than the original one. We are going to extend surface for this. Just like one there. So now when we do our cut extrude, it's going to go right there. Okay. So if we did thick and cut, which is up here, it would not have a draft and it wouldn't work for us. So I'm going to show you another trick too, real quick. Um, this needs to be actually, yeah, this needs to be above and we need it above and below. Um, so Okay, so we're going to create a plane here and a plane here below, above and below. Let's make more sense in a minute. Then what we're going to do is roll this down, had to be above. And then this edit sketch plane. And then we can select this plane and I'll move that sketch over here which is what we want. So then what we can do 
is copy and then I did control C on that and then I'm going to select this plane control V perfect and it'll be right where it needs to be okay we can hide this guy for now so now I've got these on either side <clears throat> so I can show this and then I can feature extrude cut uh, and then we're going to go up to surface here so there it is perfect so now it's cut oh it did go through okay hang on let's hide this this so okay so now the draft works does that make sense for everybody and then I can just edit it because right now it's not where we need it to be sketch I need to leave that guy but I need to edit this guy Gonna be up here. Just need it to be up. I needed that gap for this. So make sure it makes sense with the picture, obviously. Okay, I think that'll be good. And then this will then start your transition up for this guy. That line will continue. For this arm. Okay, anyway, now we've got that. So because you can kind of see. So figure out with your calipers what that is. And then we are going to hide this. And then um, make this visible. Sketch. We're going to convert this edge because we need this to line up. And then <clears throat> using your calipers, figure out what. Um, this dimension is. I don't have this razor in front of me again. We're going to say one. moving this but we'll add in dimension here Okay. So find out what that is for real. Get these all mapped in. Okay. 
doing it. Oh my god. Okay, this is not the first time I've done this. Okay, so I know this is a little bit off, but it's a perspective kind of view here. So then what we're going to do is hope that what I'm about to do works. So I'm going to trim the insides out here. And it's working. Good. So now the, these will all line up with that cut, the extrude cut that we did. And then I'm just going to go in oh shoot, <laughs> and close these up. There we go. And then these need to get closed up. You want these to be bigger than the objects, so we're going to do extrude cut. Okay. Feature. Extrude cut. Through all. Both. And then show. And There you go. So now, see this? That might have been too much there, but you could do it like 0.1. That might be just right. And then you can add some fillets on here. There we go. Nice and round. We'll uh, get some fillets on those inner edges and on this edge a little bit. There you go. That's how you do that and have those recessed in, but follow along that curve. Um, okay, let's mirror this over. We'll mirror. Let's see. There we go. Voila, looking good. And that's how you get those grips.